question. <laughs> if you did not add any of the new fees, the necessary millage rate to get to 127.6 million would be 8.9561. Which would be considerably over any definition of a tax increase. Well, it would exceed the rolled back rate for tax purposes. But it would need a supermajority as well, would it uh, not? In this particular case, because of the terminology used for the maximum millage rate, which is actually 10.43 mills, uh, no, just a simple majority. That's the convoluted nature of how the tax law is written right now. I'll have to... I'll be more than happy to sit down and go over this with you because it very is very convoluted. Yeah, it will probably take uh, three of us to do it. No doubt. <laughs> the reason I'm focusing <laughs> on that is I feel morally obligated not to vote for anything that will be considered a tax increase. I believe I was elected saying that, and I intend to stick with that decision. Okay. That's why I've got to get that definition clear. Absolutely. The, uh, based upon the preliminary estimates provided by the uh, property appraiser's office and the actual the actual numbers the certification of taxable value will come out on July 1st but based upon that information the millage rate is 7.2570 and anything over that is considered to be a tax increase for floor statute purposes okay. for noticing purposes what? and that will by doing that with no new revenue sources that will bring in 110.6 million not even the 116. Not even the 116. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Um, Mark, a couple things. One is, uh, it, it's troubling to me, I will say right, uh, and I've got to say it, it's troubling to me that there, there, is, there is no moral obligation, I can tell you right now, uh, to a tax increase or not. The obligation is this is that this city is far, far worse off right now than anybody on this council two years ago would have thought. And so our obligation is to make sure this city does not go under. And it's our obligation to make sure this city does not end up like other parts of Lee County that we don't want to be, that we don't want to be like. We're going to have to make some very difficult decisions. But I certainly hope that those decisions are based on facts and based on what we think here instead of based on promises that may not able, even possibly be able to be kept. You go look at the revenues for the last two years that we've been in office, and you will see they have steadily and quickly and rapidly and in no other terms plunged.